Big story here tonight, an incident that really stunned Southern Californians and made international headlines. An off-duty LAPD officer draws his gun in the middle of a busy Costco, shoots a man, and wounds his mother and father. That man diagnosed as intellectually disabled. The officer with his young son at the time said it was self-defense. The officer was not charged with a crime, and key details from this case have been kept from the public until now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Robert Kovacic. In tonight for Chuck Henry, our I-team has obtained hours of video and audio recordings and dozens of police reports that shed new light on what happened in those terrifying moments. Our investigative reporter, Eric Leonard, is live right now with what he's learned on this. Eric. Well, Colleen and Robert, we've spent months digging into the events that took place inside that Costco in Corona in 2019 because so little information was made public. We've obtained video, photos, and interviews through our own investigative efforts that were the evidence behind the LAPD's conclusion that the former officer did not act reasonably and violated department policies. And now we can show it to you. It's 7.45 on a Friday night, and off-duty LAPD officer Salvador Sanchez is lying on the floor in the blue shirt and gray shorts moments after he fired 10 bullets from his Glock pistol. The rounds killed Kenneth French, seriously wounded French's parents, Paola and Russell, and punched through refrigerators and display cases. This recording you're seeing is from Corona Police body-worn video captured right after the shooting by the first officer on the scene, who happened to be parked outside when the gunfire started inside. Okay, what happened? On video, Sanchez says he is not hurt. Are you injured? No, I guess not. I thought I got shot in the back of my head. Sanchez tells the officer he saw a blast while holding his one year old son and fell to the ground. I see a blast and I feel my head get knocked off and I fall to the ground and I drop my son. We now know from witness accounts Sanchez had either been punched or slapped in the head by Kenneth French, a 32 year old man with an intellectual disability. Reasons still unknown. Sanchez had not been shot and medical exams at the scene in an ambulance and at an emergency room found no significant injury. And as Corona police were trying to sort through the case, Chaos. While the three people Sanchez shot lay bleeding on the floor nearby, Sanchez said he would not provide more detail to the first officer. Did you see a weapon? You know what? I'm not going to talk any further with them. Then, as more Corona officers arrived by the minute asking questions, what was it over? trying to get more information about what happened and why, and what was it over real fast? Sanchez repeats what he said about thinking he was shot and falling to the ground, and later, while briefly in handcuffs, well, as far as any further questioning, I will lawyer up. Until now, this Costco security video was the only direct evidence from the scene shared with the public. And zoomed way in at the top, you can just see Kenneth French in the striped shirt being led away. Away from Sanchez seconds before four bullets hit French in the back. Now, with the material the I team has obtained, we can go back through what happened in much more detail. Corona 911, what's the address of your emergency? We heard gunshots. I'm um, at Costco on McKinley. There was gunshots. Two people are down. There were shots fired. On the night of the shooting, dozens of people inside the store called 911. But long before ambulances arrived, other customers ran to help. They told Corona police, Sanchez told them, the man he just shot had a gun. He just said he thought I saw a black handgun. As I came over here, in the deceased right there, I, we couldn't find the black handgun. Hours later, in a hospital bed at Corona Regional Medical Center, Hi. How you doing? Officer Sanchez told Corona police detectives in this audio recorded interview that he'd seen a gun in Kenneth French's hand. Did that, that person have a gun? Yes. Days later, according to this redacted LAPD investigation report, in an interview with LAPD detectives, Sanchez gave even more detail and described Kenneth holding a small black compact firearm similar to a LCP Ruger 380 pistol. The store was searched for the gun Sanchez said he saw. Corona police even flew a drone through the store to check the tops of display cases. No gun was ever found, and the LAPD concluded in its review that there were no witnesses identified who observed Kenneth with a firearm, nor were there any objects recovered near Kenneth, which resembled a firearm.
Now, there's much more we found about how Sanchez described his injury and whether or not it could have clouded his reasoning that night. Those statements and statements about the gun that didn't exist were part of the LAPD's decision to find the shooting out of policy. A lawyer for Sanchez tells us the LAPD got it wrong, and tomorrow night we'll show you where Sanchez said he was hit so hard he thought he'd been shot. Reporting live, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you. Eric.